Hey guys, RC here back with episode 5 of Sim Airport. So what we've done just to kind of catch you up is uh, we've hired we hired in two new sales reps. I think we did that. We had the VP of finance that we were dealing with. Uh, I have taken this area and I've broken it down to where the maintenance room is the minimum size. And I've squeezed in a foreman office. So we've hired a foreman. And the reason a foreman is important is because you have to have that to unlock any of this stuff. So escalators, uh, maintenance, more maintenance areas, one-way pass, taxiways, intersections of runways. So we're working on that. We did get the multi-lane access complete. So you can see here our road has expanded and we've actually enlarged our sign here. So we've widened out this road or at least I guess that's what we've done. Can we build another, is that another road? Is that what we can build? Yes, ooh, $3,800, I guess. Yeah, so we've opened up a whole nother lane here. All right, well, I'm gonna cancel that. We're gonna need a lot of money for that. I tell you what, let's take out a bank loan for 200,000, less than 1%. $1,500 a day. So let's build this road. I don't know if we're going to have enough here, to be honest, fellas. All right. Um, we're going to have to move our garbage zone back out to here. We will have to dismantle these. And then shrink this zone here we'll see how that works out and then we're going to put in those two dumpsters here and they're picking up all the garbage hopefully they just use these i don't know if they reuse these things after you dismantle them or not we'll find out i suppose can we i want to prioritize this Yes, they did. Okay, so they will re reuse packaging. That's good. All right, let's slow it down again. And let's come down to here. All right. Then we want to go to our drop-offs. And I want to clear this area here. And then this area here. So we're going to want to expand this to there with a walkway around and inside. All right. Because what I was noticing is when it went one past here, that's where they were dropping them off. And they were coming in through baggage claim. So hopefully, hopefully that alleviates that problem. Let's go ahead and run the road out here down to the pickups. And then what do we want to do here? All right. We're going to have to get rid of deliveries at some point, or we're going to have to put deliveries down here. Can we do that? Okay. And then pickups, we're going to extend that to here. Then we will clear out this, and then we can finish the road all the way through. I think that works fine. And then just in case, we're going to go deliveries all the way up to the street, and storage will move all the way up to the street as well. All right. So they're working on the road, I guess. Maybe. That's going to take a while. That's going to be a pretty big project. All right, now let's slow it down. We're still getting a lot of activity in here. I wish we could lower the sound there. But you can see we're picking up big numbers, big numbers. So these are really good. All right, we're going to go in and we're going to put together a store now. We're going to look for objects, retail. 
All right, first thing, I need a cash register. The green part is where your customer's gonna line up. So we're gonna put that right in the middle. Our, our, our employee will stand here, catch them coming out of the store. So we're gonna sell books. And you gotta look at these because some tell you that they require their own, like that one, requires a scheduled retail worker. So you don't really want that. Profit $1, popularity 30%. All right, we're going to do uh, candy and books. Profit 8. Closed display requires profits 105. So let's go ahead and put that in the middle back here. Actually, you know what? No, let's cancel that one. Let's do the smaller jewelry, right? Let's do jewelry on this side. How about a makeup display? Let's do makeup right there. Pharmacy, we'll do one of those. And I'm looking for the popularity. Okay, so, so ooh, souvenirs, there you go. Probably, we'll put one of those right in the middle. And then we'll put one souvenir up here. And one more down here. I think that'll be good. I would like them to get this up and running. So I'm going to set these to urgent. And again, the reason I want these built, if possible, deliveries come in at midnight. So it's imperative that these get built. We only have an hour. It's one reason it's not a bad idea to slow the game down or pause it if, if you can or if you feel the need to do so. Hopefully they can get at least some of them done. It's going to be close. No, they're not going to get it done. So this won't open till tomorrow. So I'm going to hold off hiring that worker. But that's okay. The store will be ready for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hire the staff. I need one retail worker. There we go. She'll come, but she's not gonna have anything to sell till tomorrow. I could have waited, but whether I hire her now or 11.59, you still pay a whole day's salary. So it doesn't really matter. How is our road coming? That's our big project. There it is. So what this will do is this will double our, let's see, multi-lane, two-lane road for higher throughput so more people can get in. Oh, wow, they're going in big batches there. More can come in, more can go out at the same time. So we can handle more people arriving more people leaving and then once we do the double decker buses it will pick up more people twice as many people per bus and you can only fit so many buses so it'll be interesting to see they're already coming in on that road so that's interesting and there we are so good did we get blocked off somehow there maybe don't know why nope there come ooh hello he like turned in that was crazy see i don't know why they're doing that unless they you're supposed to drive on the outside and then only come to the inside to stop so don't know all right, a lot of people outside. We have got uh, 79 passengers waiting to be picked up. All right, and they were all able to get on those two buses, but now we're building up again. Boom, so that's good. All right, liking that. And now we're just back to dealing with money. Okay, so we've got the store, but you can see we don't have any inventory. They will start coming in uh that gets delivered at midnight so i'm going to slow this down and we're going to do that 
one at a time, brick by brick, my citizens, as they say. We're going to put our cafe in here. In fact, I can go ahead and zone that. Now, I need a, I need a cash register. So we're going to put that right in the middle. We need a chilled food display. Let's do one on each side. Why not? All right, well, a hot food display, a coffee maker, a drink machine, and actually, you know what? No, cancel, 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 cancel. All right, we're going to go three there. And then I was watching a video yesterday and they were trying to put four chairs around a table and I realized four chairs around one table or you could do three cha tables and fit six chairs. So you could actually fit more chairs with more tables if you needed to. Now I'm not going to hire anybody for this yet because we still have to build the kitchen. Now we do have the money possibly to build. Oh, you know what? I want to build or not. I'm only going to build it out to here and then we'll expand it because the fence will be attached. If we open that fence now, then it makes our run our runways unsecure and they'll shut down. So, you have to be careful with that. So, this is going to be our kitchen. In fact, I was wondering what to do here. I could do three. All right, that's possible. We'll extend that out. And then we'll tear this wall down. While that's going on, we did not. Oh, hold on. Day 11, we did not get our bonus. What happened? Uh, let's look back to yesterday. Ooh, okay. What happened here? Now, they all departed with all their passengers. I wonder if there was a bag issue. I wonder if this had something to do with all of our construction, all the guys being out on the road construction, maybe. So let's get through today, see if we made that up. And I want, I'm wondering if it starts over, like I said last episode, I wonder if that builds up cumulatively. I don't know. Why can I not put anything there? All right, we've got to build that. And then once they start, I'll dismantle that one. And then this one, we can also build our foundation there. And then we'll dismantle this. I want to put a door in. I'll put a door in right there. Dismantle this. All right, now this one, I could dismantle this. And I'm going to dismantle. Oh, I can't do that one yet. So, yeah, we're going to dismantle this side. And we're going to put a door right a door, I said, right there. All right. So it's almost 1150. So they should be getting their inventory today, uh, tonight at midnight. So uh, Caraville will have stuff to sell tomorrow. Now these, we cannot change the profitability. They are what they are. Dollar, eight dollars, whatever it was. So, this is going to be our kitchen, all right, and in a kitchen, let me slow this down here, all right, first thing, did we get our bonus again? Yes, we did, and it does look like it resets, 
So it, it's imperative to try to keep this going because you can see it builds up every day. So that's good. And now we're back to square one. So that's too bad. All right. This is done. I am going to extend out my cafe all the way to there. Did that work? Cafe? Maybe? No, I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, we are going to assign to this kitchen. And you need food stock. So we're not done with the kitchen yet. Kitchen will start prepping stuff, but they can start, they won't get product again until midnight. Now, did they get their stuff? Yes. Yeah. So they've got books, candy, makeup, everything's in here. They can come down the hallway, come into here. So that's positive. What are they saying that we need? Oh, I need a retail worker for here. That's okay. Close. All right, let's go in here and look at our kitchen. All right, we need a kitchen sink for sure. Right? We need kitchen storage to put our products. I need a pizza oven, a refrigerator. I need, let's do, uh, let's do two hot plates. And the other thing we need is a, ooh, I do need a cooker. Crap, pause it. This is why it's good to pause too. All right, cancel. Cancel, cancel. All right, so I need a cooker, yeah? You can put that there. I need two prep carts, or a prep cart. You can put one there and one there. I need a pizza oven. We can put there. All right, now let's see what else we need. I guess they need to build those first. All right, they're still delivering stuff to the cafe. Uh, oh, you know what? So let's, no, they haven't made anything yet. So I'll hire my chefs and my retail worker at the same time. All right. So I need a cooker, right? Oh, the cooker is here. It's just not made yet. All right. So crisps, we don't have, we need a cooker and a pizza oven. And I need a, I'm pretty sure I need a refrigerator. That adds pizza, sushi, and donuts. All right, so let's do that. And I think you just make that at the prep cart. Pizza, avocado on toast, sushi, donuts. So pizza, donut, sushi. I think we're good here, right? All right, so H, staff, we're going to hire one chef. I've usually hired two, but my understanding is you don't need two to make it. All right, so we're generating some revenue here in the store today. Let's see, 254 in the current hour, 296 on the day so another place to spend money and buy stuff they're just coming in getting drinks i can't get to the cash register all right well we'll figure it out he won't get product till tonight so there is no food just drinks so we'll deal with that for a day and I've only got $1,100, so we're gonna let some money build up. Let's check our flights. All right, first two are doing good. Let's see how far ahead of pace we are. So they are boarding 113 passengers, waiting for a few, there we go. So we've got about an hour left. They're booked, they're already filled, waiting on bags, that's it.
All right, so that looks like it's going well. Just remember on this maintenance, we talked about that. You had, right now, only two members of my staff can perform maintenance because I only have two toolboxes. So if I want all six of them, I have to have six toolboxes, right? So just a heads up. Now there is something in here. Transport, fuel services, that's not it. All right, where are we at on research? Oh, our buses are done. Let's keep an eye on buses. We have some people down here. We've got 17, 20, all right. I just want to see the double. Oh, here comes some of the new buses. And there you go. So their capacity now is 150. So that's good. So I think it was 50 or 75 for the level one bus. So now we've upgraded to level two with that research. Because the other thing is, if you can't pick them up and get them home, or get them to your airport, then you start having flights running late and everything else. All right, let's look at some grants. All right, uh, we're working on that, and that's done. Five stores, two first-class lounges. Okay, that's a possibility. Let's build... Let's build this foundation up to there, and then we'll add this last wall, right? All right, it's only noon, so they're going to work on this. I wonder, I said I couldn't go any farther out, right? That's right. And we could do another small gate right there oh you know what i can't do though hold on all right this may be a bad idea right here i may not be able to do this so i can build the gate right and you see the crosswalk it's going to be accessible to the terminal part but but look how far over it goes to that fence right i believe my taxiway will not go that far. Yep, see, I can only go two over. I don't know if it's the fence blocking that. All right, guys, well, I've got a family emergency, nothing major, but I got to go. So I got to end the episode here. We will see you next time. Take care. Bye.